Today this is going to be a video here on this application called Quick Picks. So I hope you guys like this. It's a very cool application, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys why this is my favorite gallery for my device. So I'm going to go through a bunch of the settings in it. Hopefully this will go smoothly and we'll show it to you. So first of all, um, get in the settings, hit your menu button on your phone and you can do sort orders and it's going to sort the folders and how you want them sorted, which is a nice feature you have right there. Next, we can go to add. So this is if something doesn't get automatically sunk or synced to your photo gallery and you know where it is on your phone and your storage. You can, you know, scroll through it, find those pictures and add those pictures to your gallery. Um, in case It does manually scan for them, but if it doesn't manually find them, you can add them this way. Um, next, we go to menu again whoop, and go to show hidden. And you can see there's just some folders and stuff or icons and things like that, like here that you know, I normally don't want to actually look at all the time. Um, so those are going to show up, or you can go ahead and hide them. And you can see we're back to you know, standard stuff on here. Um, other than that, you have settings. And there is a lot of settings in here. They do a lot of really cool stuff. So really quick, we'll go to genera general here, and it says include videos or don't include them um, in your gallery options. You have dark themes. Let's see what your themes are. Dark, gray, light. I like the stock one dark, I think it's nice looking, but you can change the theme and the look of it a little bit. Here, I'll do one really quick for you, we'll go light. Um, and then it says, you got some split things, some hardware acceleration, uh, different things like that in there. You do have browse, and just a ton of great options in here on how to use this app, and included folders, excluded folders. Like I said, if you have a folder in there that keeps showing up in your gallery, but you don't wanna see it, you can go in here and exclude the folder out of your gallery. So you could add one, find the folder you want to exclude, whatever it is. Most of your uh, pictures are in this DCIM. Uh, but if you have something in downloads you don't want to show in your gallery, you can click on it, click on it, and then it'll exclude it from the gallery. So that is really nice. I like that excluded a lot. A lot of people have like things that are sunk, like Google uh, stuff that's sunk that you should be able to exclude with that feature. Um, high hidden folders. That's a little thing you can do if you want. And you can see, oh, hide top status bar. That's going to be this bar along the top with your clock. You can do that and the thing will expand. So definitely some cool things there. You do have views and a bunch of uh, adjustments, grid pattern, background, forest true color decoding. I mean, just, just tons of great uh, customization in here. Slideshows and has random transitions and a bunch of different things there. Cache and then about cache right there and it just tells you about how it's going to load some things some thumbnails and things like that all right so that's pretty much your settings there you go that's the white theme so you can see it looks all right i really don't like it so like i said i'm going to go back to settings oh there it is themes dark theme go back out okay back to the dark theme that's the theme i think looks the best as as it is so let me just show you how this slideshow works i'm just going to show you some pictures that I have so if you want if you go into here and you're in a, in a folder you can just hit this play button up here and it'll go ahead and do a slideshow of the folder and it'll do transitions like this you can see and so on and so forth to something else that's a bunch of those pictures so um, pretty cool you can look at an individual picture and you can even highlight things highlight multiples there you go. Now you see that it actually highlighted to the next place I, I put my finger. So if you want to highlight a whole bunch of them, you can do that and just, you don't have to touch every one of them, just the first and the last and it'll highlight all of them. Or you can highlight, you know, individuals and then undo that one or do that one or however you want to do it. And you can delete them then up on top. You can share them. You can uh, rotate them. There you go. So you can see you do quick rotate. You have options right here, um, and you can see details of the app, or the picture, I should say, and exactly what you know what it is, what size, JPEG, all that kind of stuff. you got other settings in here. You can set it as your background, your wallpaper. Um, you can go, and go ahead and edit it, copy it, and rename it. And then show in map. So let me show you what show in map is. It's kind of cool, but a little bit freaky. If you have GPS uh, tagging on, or geotagging on your pictures, 
Let me just show you how that functions. If you have this, you can actually, so here's, here's a picture, and I'm gonna hit my menu button, and I'm gonna say show in map. And if it's geo, a geotagged picture, this is what happens. The geo, GPS coordinates are right there. You can open up right here and bam, that's where I took that picture. That's kind of creepy um, that it's that easy to do, but it is. And you can see where that is in Northwest Indiana right there, Mich uh, Lake Michigan in Illinois. So kind of crazy, but cool feature in the application, but at the same time, a little bit scary. So it's, it's a little bit, a little bit wild there. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you some of the other things we can do in here. Go into menu and we'll go to edit really quick and you can pick what you want to edit it with. This is the editor that comes with this application. So you can see some things you can do along the bottom down here. You know, you can resize some stuff. You can go ahead, change aspect ratios and crop some things, stuff like that. And then when you're done, you just hit that little button and it'll change whatever you've edited. And then lastly, the th one thing that I like that's nice about this is just say you have a picture like this and you want to set it as your wallpaper. To use quick pick wallpaper, I feel like it gives you better control over really setting up how the wallpaper looks on your phone. So I really like that it does that. And so you can just, you know, pick where you want to go. Most of the other ones, when they set it up, it's got like a T looking thing that is harder to get the you know picture exactly how you want it on your phone, on your wallpaper, I should say. So you know you get this like you know set up real nice, and then you know just hit your checkbox. And there's your wallpaper should be set. And there you go, it is. So I think you're getting the, the feel for it. Um, very, very cool application. Like I said, it is my favorite gallery by far um, when it comes to a gallery on my any of my Android devices. You can obviously launch your camera right here. And there you go. Watch my computer shutting down. What fun. Yeah, pretty neat. Great, great, great features. Absolutely love it. Uh, if you're looking for a different gallery for your phone, check this thing out. It is awesome. Quick Picks Gallery. You can see it right up there on top. Hope you guys like this little review on this application, Quick Picks. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.